over the next eight weeks. So there's two different uh, there's two different things going on. So the Monday show is going to be domestic um, things that you can do differently with your life, and the Friday show is going to be uh, <laughs> the Friday show is going to be uh, more international stuff. So if you want to go uh, international and you have always thought about doing that and you've been sitting at home during the coronavirus and you're trying to figure out what that looks like, um, you can do that. You can also catch this series on a Devisha, or D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency Facebook page. We are live on there as well. We'll be live every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. for 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes of your life while you're sitting at home. Hey, Tegas. I miss you too. So, um, just a little bit about me before we get into what's going to be happening over the next eight weeks. My name is Devisha L. Johnson. I uh, am an entrepreneur here in Atlanta, Georgia. I have businesses here in the U.S. The one is called D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency, which we are live on that Facebook as well right now. Um, I also own the Cooperative Executive Management Team, which is a farm services management company. And we do work here in the U.S. and abroad as well. Um, through my parent company, D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency, we have several different programs that we run a year. Uh, one is called the Ghana Investment Tour. Can you? Okay, so this is some real live video because I'm talking to my 14-year-old. And he's very smart, and he can spend a lot of time, and at least this is for people with children, because we're going to talk about children and resources on the April 13th, on April 13th episode. But right now, I'm dealing with a 14-year-old child that's telling me he can't do something electronically right now when he spends all of his time in his room on Fortnite and video games. So, right now, what I'm going to, right now, what I'm going to do... Account is not eligible. Okay, well then fix it. I can't fix it. I yeah. press for more than Okay, well fix it. Figure out how to fix it. Okay, so Can I not be this is what happens during coronavirus. This is real talk, black people. And I want us to have these types of conversations so that you know that I'm a real person and I'm not just sitting here just blowing smoke out my butt. So you have to have a this is Okay. That's not true. But anyways, so the next eight weeks this is what we're gonna talk about. We're going to talk about a whole list of things. The month of April, Monday, we are going to talk about domestic issues. And that will be, online education will be April 13th. So we are going to talk about your children, just like I was having a discussion with my children, my child right now, about what to do with these kids in the house during the coronavirus. What is your hashtag plan B with these children? Seriously. What is your plan? Well, Some people. Did you, did you, see, that's what I'm talking about. What is your plan, <laughs> black people, to do with your children? You have to survive. There's not enough alcohol <laughs> or enough NyQuil. Black people, y'all know what I'm talking about, to deal with these kids right now. So I'm going to help you. We're going to help each other figure this out over this period. Okay? All right. So back to the regularly scheduled programming. On April 13th, we are going to talk about online education with um, an organization I'm still waiting to get approval from if they can come on the show or not. And they will be talking about resources for these children. This is not summer vacation. They're supposed to still be doing online learning. There's free internet resources if you, go to, if you call Comcast. If you've never been a Comcast subscriber before or your bill is not over $500 or over less than a year old, you can get internet for free for 60 days and we'll come set it up at your house. Period. Period. Comcast.com. So, if you um, have smaller children, kindergarten through grade five, and you just need some stuff to print off the internet to do with them, some creative DIY stuff, you can get that also from this resource on April 13th. Um, April 17th, or actually April, yes, April 17th, we'll be talking to um, a gentleman that owns the MNC Group. They were one of our sponsors at the Gold Black History Honors and the Georgia African Connection Week. They'll be talking about gold and commodities trading. So if you've ever been thinking about how to trade 
um, how to trade gold or buy gold or um, co trade commodities from African countries. Specifically, he is in Ghana. He will be on on April 17th to discuss that. On April 20th, we will have my girl Kara Turn Time with Turn the Political. She will be talking about she will be talking about uh, digital marketing and what you can do from home and how you can make some money doing that. For those of you that have a laptop that are at least somewhat computer savvy, you can get that information from Kara Turntine on April 20th with Turnsy Political. She's going to be talking about digital marketing on April 24th at 10 a.m. We will be talking with an entertainment artist, Tally Bo, from the Cape Coast Gangsta. I, I, just, I just smile every time I hear that or say that. The Cape Coast Gangsta people, Tally Bo, from Cape Coast, Ghana, will be on our show on April 24th to talk about the entertainment industry and your hashtag Plan B options. All you rappers out there, all you studio warriors that's sitting up in there dropping bars, making beats, all those things that you're doing right now, all those things you thought you wanted to do post-COVID-19 when you get that little uh, stimulus check, black people, you can spend it on your dream. But you can test that dream out as a smart business person with someone else that's already doing it. So invest in your people so you can invest in yourself and not waste your own money, black people. Thank you. So on April 27th, we're going to be talking with Diamond Builder Network Marketing Extraordinaire, Ethan Clemens. He's going to be talking about some of the new products that he has if you're into network marketing. If you are not into network marketing. And you just use some of these things. I've known Ethan for about 20 years. So if you just use some of these products and services, then that will be right up your alley. So let's go back to the beginning for those that are just tuning in. My name is Devisha L. Johnson. This is Conversations with My Black People. We uh, air every... See, we're outside now. Let me close these doors. He goes in my house. See? This is real black folks. It's not no studio setup. I'm talking to you from my front, from my porch of my apartment in Atlanta, Georgia. As I sit at home, I've been an entrepreneur for the last five to ten years itch, but five years legitimately because you already know how that looks for black people. When we start businesses, usually they're not legit. We're just doing something out of our house or we're doing something out of our garage or doing something out of our homeboy something or on the block, whatever that is. It's usually not legitimate until the first three, four, or five years. So I legitimized myself and decided to get into business, and we are now talking about business opportunities in the United States during the coronavirus for this hashtag Plan B, because you guys need an option. Once they drop this money with these stimulus checks, you need an option on what to do with your funds. It's not going to be buying Nike shoes. It's not going to be going to the movies, because nobody's going to be able to actually go anywhere still. And it's going to be worse because people are going to start running out of food. So I want to give you all options, those of you that are able and those of you that can, I want to be able to give you some options on what to do with your life um, as we go through this coronavirus. So what I decided to do was get uh, together a little eight-week series. It's going to air Monday and Friday every morning at 10 a.m. for 30 minutes, and we're going to have a conversation with each other. You guys are going to talk to me. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to bring on guests to talk to you about certain issues. So the month of April is already full. We have already confirmed the people that are going to be on this show. There will be a little screen pop up next to you in the corner that our guests will come on and discuss their programs, initiatives, resources. So I will go through the list for the month of April. So today, it's me, your host, Devisha Good L. Johnson. That's me. You can... Reach me on YouTube at Devisha L. Johnson or D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency, which we will go live for our first show on Friday with that. You can also see me here on Facebook every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. for 30 minutes uh, talking about all of the things around business and what my black people can do while you are sitting at home on quarantine for uh, the coronavirus, COVID-19, hashtag, you need a plan B, black people. So, for the month of April, on the 10th, since there are my last video, there were a lot of people asking about this land in Ghana. Like, serious. Like, y'all really want to know. Tally Bo, Cape Coast Gangsta. Cape Coast Gangsta Tally Bo is with us people live in the house. Coming from, live from you from Ghana. Cape Coast. K 
Cape Coast Gangsta Tally Bell will be on our show on April 24th, talking about the entertainment industry. Much support for you too, Tally Bell. And take care of my girl. She's, she's about to drop some hot too. This is, this is amazing that uh, something that you create in your mind can affect so many other people, which is why I decided to share this more structured version of conversations with my black people instead of just ranting to you in my car. So, for the month of April, on April 6th, which is today, it's our uh, premiere episode with me, your girl, Devisha L. Johnson. On April 10th, we will have Nana Obakesi Ampa from Cape Coast, from the Cebu Traditional Council. He's been all over YouTube talking about the 5,000 acres of free land that he's giving out in Cape Coast to African Americans to repatriate. Yes, that guy. He will be our first guest on the show because I'm serious with y'all black people. Y'all need a plan. We're not just going to be talking about opinions on here and just giving you what Devisha said today. This is going to be factual information out of the horse's mouth from where you can get your life, your whole life during COVID-19. Because some of you are sitting at home contemplating how you ended up with this woman or how you ended up with this man or why your kids so damn bad. This is what you're thinking about while you're at home during COVID-19. Because believe you me, I'm thinking about it with these children. I'm trying, we're going to make, make it through this together. So, I want to give you some options. As I'm an entrepreneur and I've been um, working from home or from my laptop, as we should say, for the past five years. Um, I haven't had an actual job in 10 years. Um, I have a tour. I take uh, African Americans to invest in Africa three times a year. Uh, this will be my first full year since I went to Africa the first time, which was in April of 2019. So it didn't take me long to do what I've been doing. However, it was some work. So don't think because you're sitting at home right now, chilling, kicking it, having these ideas, that when COVID-19 is over and you want to create this idea into a business, it's not going to take some work. Because I'm not going to lie to you, black people. It's going to take some work. It's going to be more work for you to be an entrepreneur than it is you going to your job. Guaranteed. Any of my entrepreneurs out there know what I'm talking about. There is no off time. There is no time where you can get off and go home and just kick it. This is going to be some work. But if you always wanted to do something while you're sitting at home, what you can do is pre-plan for a lot of the things that you will be able to do once everything goes back online, a.k.a. people are allowed to leave the house for real, for real, this is going to be an opportunity for you to do that. Yes, Marcus, we will talk about Alabama. I will call you after this show. So I'm going to get to this lineup of April and May because we're halfway through the show, actually. So uh, let's start with this Friday. So every Monday and Friday from 10 to 1030, we're going to be having conversations with my black people. All of our guests will be black. All of our options and topics to discuss will be black. If you are not black, you are still allowed to come on our show. Just disclaimer, we will be talking about black-ish. Okay? So if you're sensitive, if you're having a, a white fragility complex, or if you hang around with too many white folks and you don't like what I'm talking about, this is not the show for you. So I'm going to need you to keep that in mind when you're sharing this with people, that this is called Conversations with My Black People. Hashtag Plan B. These are options you can have as black people living in America of how you spend these stimulus checks and these SBA loan checks that are going to turn into grants for you to be able to use for your business. Let's legitimize ourselves and get our lives together, people, while we're sitting at home dealing with these children. So, April. April 10th, Nana Obekesi Ampa will be on to talk about the 5,000 acres of free land he's giving in Ghana, in Cape Coast. He is all over YouTube. You can Google him before he comes on the show. Well, he'll be live to talk to you about what that process is, how much it costs, and yes, your stimulus check or your income tax check or depending on what kind of car you drive, gas for two months can get you some land in Ghana where you can lease it for the next hundred years and build on it and have a hashtag plan B in case the apocalypse actually does come. On the 13th of April, which is next Monday, we will have uh, online education experts to tell you how to deal with these kids and their education so they don't lose all of what little they retained from school in the first place over this time where they're sitting in your house eating up all your food 
and changing your TV channels and hiding your remotes during COVID-19, because that's what my children do. And then on the 17th, you know what I mean? see, see how that, it's, it's real live people, I can't, I can't explain it any other kind of, other kind of way. So, the 17th of April, we will have Michael Vanderpew with MNC Group Global. For all of you big boys out there that like to do large investments or, you know, you have a little bit of extra cash and you want to get into some international business, he'll be talking about gold and commodities trading. So if you ever thought about how to trade gold, this is not stock market fake gold. This is live on five, touching your hands, gold, bricks. So if you're interested in gold and commodities trading, you need to come watch the show on April 17th from 10 to 10.30. That's next Friday with Michael Vanderpool from Ghana. And then on the 20th, we're going to be talking to Kara Turrentine with Turrency Political about digital marketing. So if you're sitting at home and you have some uh, graphics background or, you, um, or you're pretty savvy with, uh, with WordPress or Photoshop or Facebook or any of those type of digital advertising or digital platforms, uh, Carol will be talking to you about how to get your check during COVID-19 and what that looks like. On the 24th, we will have Talibo, Cape Coast Gangster. I have to pop my head when I say that because that's how you have to say it. Otherwise, it don't sound right. Talibo, Cape Coast Gangster, will be on our show on Friday, April 24th at 10 a.m. to talk about the entertainment industry. So if you um, always thought about what it would be like to be a breakout artist in Africa and come to the U.S., you need to watch that show. If you um, have always thought about wanting to invest in the entertainment industry, either having your own label or signing on artists or just being a private investor and getting on somebody's track or doing some something or other, I'm not going to talk like I'm an industry person because I'm not, so I'm not going to lie to you black people. But you need to watch that show. Tally Bo will be going over a lot of things in the entertainment industry that you can either invest in, including himself, because he got some high tracks with my girl, Afia. Hey, Afia. That's my girl. She's decided to stay in Ghana for from the Ghana Investment Tour, so now she's living her best life. Because that's what you're going to do, black people, when this COVID-19 is over. You're going to live your best life, and hopefully it will be somewhere outside of the continental United States, because these eight weeks are going to help you figure out what that looks like for you. So, moving on, on the 27th, we're going to have a network marketing extraordinaire specialist, diamond builder, Ethan Clemens, coming on to talk about his programs and product. Um, I'm sure for those of you that know about network marketing, you understand uh, what the power is of that that's going on right now in this digital space, that people still need to make money, but they're also the, the world does not end. So the market is still moving and people are still also spending money. So people want to still invest in things that doesn't, don't take a lot of overhead or don't take a lot of effort. But it's a lot of people at home contemplating what to do with their lives from COVID-19. So that is the month of April. Now, the month of May, because this is eight weeks. So every week for eight weeks, twice a week, we are going to be having conversations with my black people. So in May, we're going to start out on May the 1st, because we want to start out the first of the month on a good note. We'll be talking about healthy living and food. So, if you've been watching my Facebook page, you've seen I have a little makeshift garden over here. I'm just about to show y'all this little makeshift garden. Yes, can y'all see that? Yes, that's my little makeshift garden on my patio. Because one thing I do know is whatever happens during COVID-19, Devisha L. Johnson is not going to be nervous. Whether it's two months, four months, or however long it takes, I'm not going to be hungry. My children are going to be fed. If they're going to... They're going to like vegetables by the end of the day. So, just think about that. So, we'll be talking about healthy living and food on May the 1st. On May the 4th, we'll be talking to, uh, I was just about to say his name, but I have not gotten authorization to say his name yet. So, we'll be talking about credit repair and financial literacy on the 27th. So, it's a twofold. If you need your credit repaired, you need to watch the show on May the 4th. If you are looking for a business to get into where you understand credit more and then you can help other people while still making money, you need to be uh, watching the show on May the 4th. So it's if, you need, if you have jacked up credit and you need to fix it, there's products that you can, uh, that you can uh, get into or buy or become a part of programs that will help you fix your credit. And then guess what, people? This is a real issue. Let me get up close and personal with y'all. Right now, 
the credit bureaus are only reporting what information they are given. So since the government has halted some of these negative impacts it's going to have on our credit, this is the time for you to be starting to send out letters to your creditors saying, I don't owe you this, or I want to negotiate this. These are your options, black people. Hashtag plan B. Figure out what those are. So, we'll be talking about that. So you don't have to figure it out. I'm May the 4th. So, our next show on May the 8th. Look my own stuff. So, May the 8th, we, I want to say, are talking about funding. So, I'm waiting to hear back from a very important person at a very big bank on the African continent called the Afrexan Bank. So for you all that do not know, now you go know, black people, because this is why I like to share information with you. Because I love you all. So, um, in April, or I'm sorry, May the 8th, we will be talking with someone from, hopefully we'll be talking with someone from the Afrexan Bank or from the Ghana Exxon Bank that provides funding for projects on the African continent. And guess what? African American former descendants of slaves folks that live in America that look like me. You don't have to be living there to get the same money that they're giving out through the African Bank and the Ghana African Bank. You just have to be black or have a partner that is from one of these countries. So if there's a Ghana African Bank, you have to have a Ghanaian partner and be you don't have to be black but you know this show is called Conversations with My Black People. Um, and if you're not Ghanaian or don't have a Ghanaian partner, you can get funds through the African Bank for projects to do in Africa just because you melanated, just because you, you're melanin popping, because you look like me or any variation of shade of me. That's what we're going to be talking about on May the 10th. On May the... Oh, that was May the 8th, sorry. On May the 11th, we'll be talking to creatives. So all of you creative people out there that have businesses, you make soaps, you make uh, belly chains, you make flower pots, whatever that is that you make. I'm sorry, people, I'm trying to fix this other Facebook class. So whatever it is that you make or whatever creative space you're in, it might be photography, it may be uh, graphic design, it may be uh, digital design. I'm not sure what it is, but you creatives out there that look like me, you beautiful people. I know y'all okay, because y'all got plenty to do right now. But of those of you who have not legitimized your create your creativity into a business, you need to be watching this show on May the 11th when we talk to creatives. So, on May the 15th, we'll be talking with my girl Uche, exclusive from Dallas, Texas, who uh, has her own fashion line called Uche Exclusive. And we'll be talking to her on the 15th about the fashion industry. So, all of you people at home that either make your own clothes or you think you can dress or you've always thought about this purse line or you've always thought about this shoe line or you're starting a shoe company and you were just getting off the ground before COVID-19, hashtag plan B people. You need to come watch this show on May 15th at 10 a.m. with my girl Uche Exclusive from Dallas, Texas. Um, also, on May the 18th, since we have so many, and I'm trying to catch this light because it's really in my face. And it's bothering me at this point because now I'm sweating and I don't sweat. So I'm trying to figure this out. But we just gonna have to. This is why I love y'all. See, I'll just have my phone here. Okay. So on May the 18th, we're gonna be talking to. I was about to say his name again, but I'm not gonna say it. So we'll be talking about Nigerian investments. So, yes, all of you Nigerians, let me just say this. Hey, Kimberlyn. Hi, thank you for tuning in. Share with your friends. So I'm going to be talking to black folks. So on April or May 18th, we'll be talking about Nigerian opportunities. So I know all my Nigerians is like, yes, we matter. And yes, we going to... Let me just keep my Nigerian comments to myself. But y'all know how y'all are. And don't fake the fuck like y'all not like that. Y'all are everywhere. So we're going to give you this little piece to say Nigerians are going to be talking to other Nigerians about how to invest their money, which they've been doing for forever, which is why Nigerians are everywhere, and they're usually highly successful outside of all the negative things you hear about. 
there's more Nigerian doctors in New York right now than there is a day of Nigeria. So let's not fake the funk and act like our black people aren't amazing because they are. So Nigerian investment opportunities will be discussed on May 18th. So if you're looking to do some investment in Africa and West Africa in general, we're going to be talking about Ghana and the top of May this Friday coming up on April 10th. And then on May 18th, we're going to be talking about Nigeria. So on the 22nd, we're going to be talking about one of the things that's near and dear to my heart, which is agriculture and hemp. We're going to be talking about that on May 22nd with me. So we'll be talking about the different laws in the United States around hemp. We'll be talking about the different countries that have gotten um, hemp legislation and all of that. And how you can invest yourself in the hemp industry here in the United States or in Africa. And we got one minute left for this show because I promise you we're going to get out of here at 1030. So we're going to be talking about on May 25th, Forex trading and the stock market. So a little young lady from Dallas, Texas, hopefully will be on our show on May 25th to tell y'all and your children, especially your teenage children that are sitting at home right now during COVID-19 playing video games all day that are already on the computer. Hashtag my children. They need to learn another skill on the computer that can make them some money while they're sitting at home. Check that box. So, black people, get your teenage boys, specifically, that are gamers, like mine, and put them on this Forex and this stock market, black people. It's easy for them to learn. Nobody said you have to sit there and teach them. The young lady that will be coming online on May 25th, hopefully, um, she was doing this when she was a teenager. So, let's start putting more into our children outside of giving them video games. They can play those video games. They can also buy those $1,500 gaming systems and laptops with the money that they make from this Forex trading. I'm just saying. Hashtag Plan B. So on the 29th, we'll be talking about uh, manufacturing with the head of the One District One Factory from the Republic of Ghana, Mr. Kwaku Giasi, hopefully, um, if he can come on our show. So that's it. That's what we're going to be talking about. Um, thank you all for coming to check me out on my first episode from 10 to 10.30. Come check me out Mondays and Fridays on Facebook Live here on my own personal page or on the D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency page. We will also be recording these for my first episode with our first guest on April 10th on YouTube. So you can watch those on YouTube at D.L. Johnson Consulting Agency. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this post with all of your friends. And I will see y'all Friday at 10 a.m. Stay black.